you have your philosopher's hat on, Sensei? Mm -hmm. Do you have your philosopher's hat on? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. Okay, I am ready. Well, this tape is for posterity, so that in the years to come we can look back and mm. see what it is, what you see at this time, the most essential, important message, perhaps, that you have for not only your past students, your present students, but your future students. What is the most important thing? Mm. that you would want any of us and, and of our future students to carry with them about your Aikido, your teachers? Well, you know, I've been thinking about it uh, quite a while, what it means to be for retirement. And I'm chewing, biting, chewing, and trying to digest it. But I don't know what it means to be. <laughs> Still, I am lost on that uh, notion of retirement. I think in a time it will come a natural process, you know. So I'm not worried about it, but uh, I'm kind of a uh, little lost about it. My message to future Aikidoists or present practitioner is keep up your Shoshin. Shoshin is beginner's mind. Shushin is, if I may say, kind of unstained mind, pre preoccupied mind, pre conceptual mind. Wherever you come on the mat, not necessarily on the mat, but because mat is our center training space, as you say on the mat, you must clarify your own motivation from right the bottom. Clears up, purifies, the sit there, wait instruction with a with, with unstained mind. That has to be continuously carried out throughout your Aikido life. Whatever rank you may attain, that does not really make different. Always go down near the bottom with heart and check your shushin all the time. That's that's a word I like. Mm. Sensei, could you talk a little bit about the process? We talked about it before about the levels of awareness and then presence, mm. and then, so that people can have an idea of how it is to be the path of beginner's mind. Mm -hmm. As as you had stated to me to clarify the the workings of the pillars. Mm -hmm. Could you could you talk a little bit more about that? about attaining Shoshin or reclaiming it? Well, everything has to be uh, oriented from uh, Shoshin upwards. And what holds underneath is strong foundation of Shoshin. It's kind of love affair, you know, giving commit yourself in such a way of discipline throughout your life is indeed love affair. It can turn to hate, angry, frustrations, like relationship with a human human being, you know, human man like. But there is a strong notion of affection. That's what I want you guys to keep up. Aikido in essence very fragile. It can be forgotten can be destroyed, it can be deluded by ignorance and self-indulgement. So 
especially I have a message for teachers. You have, we teacher has to take precaution, measurement to preserve our art very carefully. Aikido itself, as an art, doesn't have any means to protect itself. It has to be provided. That's what I mean, be affectionate. That's what I mean to be love affair. To take care of that very fragile, sensitive art, which requires protection. That's what I think. Is that all? If you, uh, well, no, I have a lovely conversation. <laughs> I want to hear more. <laughs> okay. Does my English make sense? Oh, absolutely. Oh, great. Very clear. Very clear. I would, I remember you talking about, when you talk about your love affair with Aikido, you speak of her as a princess. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> the story of the princess. And that is something that is really impressed, especially for older teachers who are, who know that story well. Like Mike Flynn, he understood when we were talking about that. But mm. can you can you describe your relationship? With <laughs> is, that, is that too personal? <laughs> no, 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 necessarily. That's my full heart, or my core heart of the Aikido. That's what kept me up as an Aikidoist. You know, I was when I was young, eighteen. I have fallen in love with princess, prince, princess, 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 and. That's how my love affair started. She's out of my reach. I have no way to reach her to express my feeling or even get closer or even get her, grab her, mm -hmm. <laughs> and to be my to my satisfaction. <laughs> no way. She's behind, far away behind silk curtain. She's prince, princess of Rome, my lord. I, so I decided to be, I determined, determined myself, well, she's unreachable to me. But my love is pure and forever. So I decided I'll be captain of royal guard, protect her. That's what happened to me the past 50 years. I have been living up with my own affair and carried out my mission to be captain of royal guard. Or princess. And one one time, long time ago, actually, you know, I t in one summer camp hold here in Great Britain, over the drink, over the wine, I told story to my senior students about it. And gradually, story has been start spreading out. <laughs> It was very dynamic. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, being captain of royal guards, I have to be very obedient to the order and the system, structure, and so forth. But I was not. I was bad captain, actually. <laughs> 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 I revolt against authority many times back and forth, and, uh, but she has never left my heart, she's still there. That's about it. That's what I meant by Aikido does not have its own means to protect. Fragile, noble, sensitive, precious, we have to provide protection. And I am the captain for that.
company. You've trained many soldiers. <laughs> many, many the whole world. Yeah, yeah, I know. And the most privileged I feel about my career being professional like this is that I met so many quality people. Of course, that is something to do with Aikido power, you know? I have done Judo, I have done Karate, I have done Kyudo, I have done Yaido, so forth, but I have never met quality people as much as I met in this Aikido community. And I'm very proud of it. And that quality, actually, itself is protection. Large part of protection, you know. So my intention is always how keep us up to quality, providing natural protection of this fragile, sensitive, noble art of Aikido. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei.